I was actually procrastinating a lot with this video because I just got retainers. You can't, probably can't tell, but it's really hard to speak clearly. But I really want to do this video still because I have so much to say. Same disclaimer as before, I'm not pretending like I am an expert in everything Xiaojian or like psychology and personalities. And I also don't have a script, so I'm just going to talk and then try really hard to edit this video so it will make sense. So starting off from the first video where I talked about Yibo's like disconnect, um, Xiaozhen also has a disconnect, but it's different. So Yibo, he debuted really young, so he has a disconnect between like his young and mature self. But Xiaozhen, he debuted really late, and unlike most idols, he had a completely normal 24-25 years of life. He went to school like everyone, he went to university, he got a job, he had to deal with clients, and then he was suddenly thrown into this entertainment world. So before we get started with the whole disconnect thing, I just think it's so crazy. In the first video I said like I'm really re impressed and I really respect all the little kids out there who know what they want to do with their lives at such a young age. But with Xiaozhan, I am also really impressed because right now I am 24 years old. I have a job. <laughs> I have a totally normal life right now and I'm, I was just thinking like I would not dare to take the risk of giving up everything that I have right now and like going into the entertainment industry where I have no clue if it will work out or not. But Xiaojian did that and Wow. But anyway, <laughs> so even though he took all these risks, he still took a while to transition his mindset from being a normal person to being a celebrity. And I'm not saying that celebrities are some higher level of human being, but it's you can't act the same way and you can't really think the same way, right? Because everything around you, your environment, the people around you, how people treat you will be different. So for example, like, and he refused in the beginning to have bodyguards and stuff because he was thinking, as I said, like a celebrity is just a regular person. And it took a while for, of his popularity to explode and for him to get unfortunately mobbed by fans a few times before he re finally realized that he's a celebrity. But I feel like he's the type of person who tries to avoid confrontation. He's not very straightforward. He's more willing to sacrifice himself to something that makes himself a bit more uncomfortable if it can make other people comfortable. Um, and kind of in the same vein, a lot of antis think or say that he's kind of fake, but I think he is like the most, one of the most genuine and sincere people. Um, but the fake thing comes from like, even Xiaozhen himself said, only people who don't really know him well will think that he's this warm, kind-hearted, sunshine guy. Because deep down, he's actually a Chongqing hot pepper. But how I see it is that he has different sides of him. Like how I said in the first video, everyone acts a bit differently when you're with your coworker, when you're with your boss, when you're with your family, but that's all the same. That's still you, right? So Xiaozhen, I think he shows like his really polite and respectable side to when he's at work because that's how that's just him being professional. But when he's at home, he doesn't have to be professional, so he can add in the other, like, crazy, funny, joking side of him. Both of these sides are still him. It's different from, like, being this kind of person and then putting on a mask to become someone else when you're in public. Like, that, putting on a mask, that would make you fake. But for Xiaozhen, he just shows different sides of him, and all of these sides of him are still him. He's just being professional. Um, and that's another thing, like his mindset of being a celebrity is just a job. Um, another thing is 
I feel like Xiao Zhan, he is so earnest, like, um, he treats everyone with respect and sincerity. Like, in so many videos, when people are talking and he's listening, like, you can just look at his eyes. Like, you can just look at his eyes and he just, he's such an earnest listener. And I think some people might think it's kind of fake. Like, how can you be interested in what everyone is saying? But I think it's like, he's not interested in what the person is talking about, but he is interested in the person talking. So he is showing the person respect by listening to what the person is saying because he respects that person. And another thing that I really love about him is that he can find the beauty in everything. I think that's partly because he is an artist, but also his personality, which leads him, which led him to be an artist, maybe. But um, I feel like just everything he does is so beautiful. Like everything about him is beautiful and not beautiful as in like feminine, but just all the good things in the world, you know? Um, I used to tweet a lot about how I love how he speaks, like the art of speaking and using words, little details that he notices and how he describes them. Like he feels like a sluggish piece of barbecued meat. <laughs> His Chongqing show where he was um, introducing everyone to Chongqing and he explained like how he was on the train and everything was zooming by and because of the window, it was like snapshots or like a film strip. And I was like, wow, how do you even think that way? That is crazy and amazing. It's just these moments where I just think the way Xiaojin's brain works is so amazing and beautiful. He just sees the beauty in the world or he sees things in his own way and it's beautiful and I love it. The other thing, one of the most important things of why I love Xiaojin is the ugly dog and cat memes he always shares. But I genuinely just really, really want to be best friends with Xiao Zhen. I would love to just chat with him about random shit and exchange millions of these gifs and memes. Like, he is just an interesting soul. I feel like the phrase interesting soul became popular because of him. I can't remember if it was used to describe him or he himself used it, but he is the definition of an interesting soul. For me, what an interesting soul is and what Xiao Zhen is, is someone who has his own way of thinking, his own way of seeing the world, and he keeps it. Like, he doesn't change himself. Even though he has debuted as an idol and changed his, kind of changed some things about him to become a professional idol, he still keeps the, he still preserves the, like, quirky or interesting part of him. And I love it. I love it so much. And there are, like, just really small details, like how he insists on putting everything in the exact middle, the exact center. Like, everyone jokes about how that's just his OCD as a designer, but it's so cute. I remember, like, a while ago, he was really into, like, rolling up the cuffs of his jeans and pants, and they were always rolled perfectly. And it's just these small details that show, first of all, that he is a very neat person, but also he sincerely pays attention to everything. Like, he respects all the details in the world. Oh, another thing, when he was trying to Beijing snacks, um, like, there was that one douzhi, the fermented soy drink, which is, I've tried it before, it is fucking disgusting, but he was like, 
he was disgusted, but he said, I respect the snack. I was like, <laughs> the way he talks is just so interesting. That is also an example of how he respects everything and how polite he can be. His way of communication is so beautiful and cute, but it's not always the most efficient in this world. Um, like I mentioned, he doesn't really like confrontation, so the way he says things is more subtle. But in this world, on the internet, people can't really read between the lines. <laughs> so for example, Xiao Zhen, he would write things like, I hope the people who support me will live their own lives well and be their own independent person and we can both improve together. But what he really is trying to say is, can fans fucking stop fighting each other and being annoying and toxic online? But of course, he would never say something like that. And it's just like, I don't want him to change but it's just hard and just yeah like he is this beautiful human being oh my god and also very strong but that goes without saying his tenacity to just <sighs> so but i just love him so much well happy birthday xiaojun <laughs> Uh, and I hope you never change. <laughs>